just a few short months, a young man and a young woman from the United States and other countries around the world will be traveling here to Hope Sound, leaving their comforts of their home and coming here to our dormitory. We want to provide this very best environment that we can to take the place of their home environment. And so it's for that reason that we are doing a, a thorough remodeling of a number of rooms, approximately half the rooms here in the ladies' dorm. We've already done a number of rooms in the men's dormitory across the street, and we're looking forward to housing some, uh, some wonderful young people here in this dormitory. Hey Wes, uh, you and I haven't had uh, very many opportunities to spend time in the girls' dorm until now. No, this, uh, this is unusual. Tell us what we got here, Wes. Well, actually, besides remodeling so many rooms here in the ladies' dorm and the men's dorm, we're also remodeling these, these bathrooms that were installed in probably 1962 or 63. What do you got here? I think we have some original flaked paint that some of our older alumni probably could appreciate and remember from, from back in the early days. I'm thinking maybe we ought to take some of that off as a remembrance. It might bring back some warm, fuzzy memories to some people. What do you think? I think maybe they just need to watch this and enjoy it without us taking some of it off for them. people watching this, they may get so excited about what they see and what they hope to see done that they'll actually come back and stay in these rooms during homecoming at the next camp. Well, that'd be great. It'd be great to have them. And maybe you and I could get a room here too. Um, I don't think so. I'm comfortable where I am. Okay. Walls could talk. Well, when I come into this building, walls do talk and talk about lots of good memories. And they've asked me to say something about the good old days. For three years, I was privileged to be the assistant dean under uh, Marilyn and Sharon Addison. And they were such a wonderful asset. I know they were serious about making us mind, and sometimes that didn't feel good. But they were committed. They listened to us, cared about us, prayed for us, and made our lives here very memorable. And my hats off to them that working with them was an experience that prepared me for a lifetime of ministry. I have a great idea. Why don't the whole bunch of you come and we'll have a camp out in the dorm and we'll invite the Tane Clane and we'll uh, put on a pot of tea and make a batch of donuts and half of you will stay up all night long. So Tammy, bring your alarm clock so we can all hear it for um, an hour the next morning. And um, I'll bring a couple extra cans of green beans and, and the rest of you can throw in your favorites and just have a good time together and help get this dorm ready for the next 115 girls. See ya!